Welcome to the podcast. You're listening to the Team Olympic Podcast Experience, all things real estate. And we are talking a real, about real estate market values in rural Manitoba. And we're kind of in uh, uh, the south of the city and then over to the east of the city. And we've thrown in one more area, Neverville, which we haven't done before. But we're throwing her in and we'll be doing it on a weekly basis as well. So let's talk about Neverville first. Uh, 32 homes on the market for Thursday, May the 20th, 2021. And those are residential detached homes and they're resale as well as new builds. Of the 32, 17 are new builds, so that leaves you 15 residential detached, and that's what we're gonna focus on. The new builds we'll leave separate, and if you want information on that, just reach out to us, be happy to provide that for you. Out of the 32 homes, four came to market in the last seven days, Three of them are pending. One of the pending is a new build, a zero have sold. Now all the rest of the data here is on the residential resale, not new builds. So uh, minimum list price, $314,900 and 908 square feet. Maximum list price, $459,900 and 2,305 square feet. Of those 15 homes, the average list price is 377,629 and the average square footage is 1473. With no sales in the last seven days, we don't have any average sold data. So no days on the market, no average sold prices. Next, we'll head over to Ilda Shane and Grand Point. Not a whole lot on the market there, only three homes and uh, the minimum, none of them being new builds. Zero came to market in the last seven days. One has gone pending and zero have sold. Minimum list price, 379,900, and that is a 1,555 square foot home. And the maximum list price is this whopping $7 million and 9,000 square feet. I didn't put that one in for our average list price because that would just throw the numbers way off. So average list price of the two homes is 489,900 and 649 square feet. Again, no sales this week in those two areas. So no average sold days on the market, average sold prices. Next, we'll head over into Lorette and we have 11 homes on the market in Lorette, according to MLS eight of them new builds, so all the data again will be mostly done on the residential resale homes. And uh, so three came to market in the last seven days, one has gone pending, zero have sold. Of the residential resale homes, minimum list price $374,900 and a max and a, a square footage of a thousand square feet. Maximum list price $985 and the square footage is $3,164. That home is a beautiful timber frame home right on the Seine River. Average list price of the two homes, it's uh, kind of skewed a little bit because one's $985, one's $374, giving you an average list price $633,700 and square footage of $1858. Nothing sold in the last seven days. So now no average sold days on the market, average uh, sold data. Landmark, uh, 10 homes on the market, residential resale and new builds. Eight of them are new builds. So uh, only two residential resales and uh, two came to market in the last seven days. One has gone pending and zero sold. Of the two residential resale homes, minimum list price $349,900, and that's a 1,263 square foot home. Maximum list price $449,900, that's 1,830 square foot, giving you an average list price of the two homes $399,900, and square footage of $1,547. Also, no sold data in this area, so uh, no days on the market or average sold data in the last seven days. Now, we're going to finish off in Oak Bank and Dougald. Or Thursday, May 20th, 2021, six homes on the market. Four came to market in the last seven days. Two of them are new build, two have gone pending, and one has sold. And the one that has sold is a new build that sold at 434900 And uh, now of the residential resale homes, minimum list price $299,900, and that is a 1160 square foot home, maximum list price. 674,900 and that's a 1,942 square foot home, giving you an average list price of $453,640. Uh, other than the uh, this one sold that was a new build, we don't have any other average days on the market or sold data on that. Hey, maybe you're curious of what your home is worth. We can do up a customized report on your town and, uh, and your home specifically and give you an accurate number of what your home is worth. Uh, maybe you want to know how we can safely sell your home during COVID, get your top dollar or, and reduce the stress point. Um, we talk about that all the time. We've got great strategies in place to make it as stress-free as possible. They say selling your home is as stressful as death or divorce. Crazy, eh? I have seen some stuff that come across our desk that, wow, well, yeah, it can be stressful for people. And our job is to reduce that stress point. We do a great job at it. 
That's all we got for you this week. If you have any real estate related questions, just reach out to us. We love talking to you. And we'll be back Monday morning with our podcast again. Other than that, have yourselves a great weekend, main long weekend. Enjoy it. We'll still be back on main long anyways, because I love real estate. I love doing this. Have a great day, folks.